Lights Out for the Devil and Mr. O. And now, if you haven't already done so, turn off your lights now and listen to Mr. Freak. Gun in my hand. Gun in my hand. In all my life, I've never had a gun in my hand. Smooth gun, hard gun, cold gun, cold in my hand. Bullet won't be cold. Warm bullet, hot bullet, burning hot, hot as the blood. No, can't think of that. Turn the muzzle up and press the trigger. Trigger cold against my finger. Cold as death, but life is colder. Rhythm to that. Poet dies with final rhythm. Poet dies who never wrote a poem. Headline for the tabloid. Poet dies with final rhythm. Ugliest man in the world is suicide. Poet dies with final rhythm. Ugliest man in the world is suicide. Poet dies in final rhythm. Ugliest man in the world is suicide. Poet dies in final rhythm. Ugliest man in the world is suicide. Poet dies in final rhythm. No, no, stop. Stop. Ugliest man in the world. All right. I think the things of the last time tear the words around on my head over and over the way they've torn for 30 years. Ugliest man in the world. Ugliest man in the world. Ugliest man in the world. Press the trigger and stop it. Press the trigger. No. No, I can't. I've got to wait. Think it all out clearly for the first time in my life. How it started. Why it's ending this way. Think it all out clearly from the very start. Then, press the trigger. School today, Paul. There's a start. First day of school. How old was I? Nine or ten. She kept me home, away from others. I didn't know why until that day she said... School today, Paul. I said... All right, Mother. Row on row of children looking up at me, staring up at me, gaping up at me. And then... (laughs) One of them started laughing. (laughs) Another laughing. Another and another. <laughs> laughing, laughing. I stood there, a little boy looking down at their twisting mouths, my ears filled with the sound of them making fun of me. I knew, but why? Why? Ugliest boy in the world. Ugliest boy in the world. That's why you kept me away from children, Mother. Kept me away until you didn't dare to any longer. Oh, Mother. Mother. Before you let others see me, why didn't you close your hands around my neck, put a knife in my heart, drown me, bury me, put me away where eyes couldn't see me, laughter couldn't reach me? <laughs> but you didn't. <laughs> so this was my boyhood. Tears. Tears without end. A boyhood of tears. A boyhood of tears. Took me out of school, kept me away from all the others. What good was it? I knew, I knew. There wasn't a mirror in the house. Not a mirror. I didn't dare. You didn't dare. Not a mirror. Until that day you died. Alone. So quiet in the house. I sat down. So quiet. And then suddenly, as if the clock were talking to me. Yes, I remember. Look at yourself. Look. Yourself, look at yes. Look at myself. A mirror. I had to find a mirror. Surely my mother kept one mirror somewhere. Drawer after drawer. A mirror. Surely there was a mirror. A mirror. Yes, there was one wrapped and hidden where she thought I'd never find it. Tore the paper off. I kept my eyes shut until the glass was clear, and then I looked. Oh! My face. Can I bear the memory of my face? Can I think of it even now? Gun in my hand. Yes, I will, I will. What did I see? What is my face? A brow? No brow. A thing that sloped away sharply, quickly, like a peak roof half fallen in. Nose, a thick wad of ugly flesh protruding out between two close-set eyes. My eyes. Oh, my eyes, mother of God, my eyes. Two tiny red rimmed green flecked globes that stood far out beyond the lids and twinkled like a fat round pig's. My eyes, that was why they laughed at me, my eyes. 
ugliest man in the world. Yes. I was that. No longer boy. Ugliest man in the world. Not even tears could help me now. The world outside. At last, I had to go out into it. Make a living. Get a job. Get out! Sick of sideshow! Sick of sideshow! Get out! Sideshow! 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 Step up, ladies and gentlemen. Step up, the one and only, ladies and gentlemen. Step right up. Wasn't bad, there. The ugliest man. No. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I said. The ugliest man in the world, and only a dime. A very small part of a dollar. That should step closer, closer, closer. I didn't mind. After a while. Faces looking up at me again, staring, whispering, getting their dimes worth. Spieler talking faces, staring, whispers, snickers. I didn't mind. Why should I? I could get away from them. Yes, stand there in the noise and laughter and leave them far behind. Leave the smell of them and the noise of them and the twisting faces of them. Shut my eyes and leave them quickly, quickly. I'd be in a field, sun-drenched, face to the sky, the warm sun touching me. Soft dress cushioning me, my arms outstretched. All around me, such peace and loveliness. I'd lie there so happy, and then a breeze touching my face, and a small white cloud in the sky, and then another. And all at once the clouds were like a woman's face, looking down at me. A woman. There was a woman. Hello, big fella. Oh, hello. Hell of a day, huh? Gee, yes. She'll give you a big play. I mean, the yokel. Don't they? Yes? Me, I'm with Sammy Morton. You know, the grind show. I... Not one of the strippers, you understand. I do a high-class number. You know, semi-classical. Sure been a long, hot day. It has. Nice walking out. In the dark. I mean, the, the air's kind of different than on the midway. Yeah. Nice in the dark. Awful night. Do you like the moon? Moon? Oh, sure, sure. You been working in tentos long, big fella? So complete, the moon. Boy, you sure pack them in. I had to tell you sell more pictures than anybody in the show. Dime sure add up, don't they? Your face. Did you ever look down from the clouds? <laughs> you mean, have I ever been high? Boy, I'm high now. I like the dark, big fella. There was a woman talking. They were talking. Yeah, yeah, sure, Sam. What do you take me for, a chump? Well, what do you think? face makes me sick just to look at him, but he's got a pocket full of dough. <laughs> so last week, I got a telegram from Mama. Poor Mama and the mortgage. And yesterday, while he was looking at me up in the clouds, I got another handful of bucks, and maybe in a couple of weeks, I could... You. All right, so you heard. So what? What are you staring at? I don't like your face. You heard me? I don't like your face. I gave you... You gave me a couple of laughs. Love. Love? <laughs> Do you hear that? Love. Do you think any woman can love a mug like yours? It ain't a face, it's a mug, a puss, a pan. Go on, beat it, get out of here. No more walks with me, big fella. I've had a belly full of laughs and I'm too... Hey, 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 what are you... No, stay away from me, don't... And beat it, get out. Yeah, I'll get out as far as I could get out. Any place. Anywhere. 
any place, any place, anywhere. Get away, 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 get away. Yard got away, good and far away. Fields, grain, a farm. They didn't care what kind of a face. Just work hard, work, work. Hour after hour, sweat salt on my lips. Work, keep working. And I couldn't think. I couldn't think it was good. I couldn't think. But I'm thinking now. Gun in my hand. Stop that thinking. Gun in my hand. No. Got to think out my life. Think it out clearly. Think of that day. She waved at me. Was working. Bent over. Sun hot on my back. Grain thick around me, filling the world, covering, hiding me. I straightened up. Something moving through the grain in the road. Climbing the hill. So far away, could hardly tell what it was. Shaded my eyes from the sun. I saw a woman on horseback. No. So small. Must be a girl. I saw her arm wave at me. I dropped in the grain. I said, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. The next day again, standing in the grain, a tiny figure on horseback waved at me. I dropped in the grain again. No, no more. Just the sky and the grain and the work was all I wanted. The next day and the next, a girl on horseback riding far off there in the road waving at me in the grain, waving at me day after day. And one day, I, I didn't drop in the grain. I stood. I waved back at her. Waving at me because she couldn't see me. See my... It was Pan Mug. In spite of myself one day, I, I was hiding in the grain at the edge of the road, waiting for her. I wanted to run, yet I stayed. I wanted to cover my eyes, yet I looked. Looked with eyes as big as all my loneliness. Of course knew I was there. She didn't. She started singing a little song as she passed. A song without meaning, but warm as the sun. And I saw. I saw her. Young, lovely, young, lovely. The words tumbled over and over in my head as I watched her go by. Young, lovely, young, lovely, young, love. I began to see her face everywhere. In the green, in the sky, and at night in the dark. Ugliest man in the world. Thinking of the loveliest face in the world. I tried to stop it. I couldn't help it. I couldn't. The loneliness in me was a pain I couldn't endure anymore. Again and again, I hid in the grain and watched her go by me. Just a quick moment. And then she was gone. And I was left in loneliness again. If she couldn't see my face. Yes, if she were blind. I read a book like that somewhere. A woman never saw the man she loved. If she couldn't see me, only know me as I am. My voice, my thoughts, my dreams, ambitions. If she couldn't see... Dangerous daydreams... It brought me to a gun in my hand. But I was lonely. I had nothing. So I had dreams of her, blind, not knowing my face. Mother in heaven, if she were only blind, if she were only blind. Wish, father, to the deed. That day, working in the grain, looked up. She was riding by. Why so early? Why so early? Her little hand waving at me. Then the rush of an auto. I ran, the grain tearing at me, holding me back. In a moment, she was in my arms. Help me. Please. Help me. I can't see. I can't see. Can't see. I dreamed it, prayed it, and now... I can't see. What have I done? What have I done? Concussion. Nerve block. No, no, I had nothing to do with it. Just a thought. I had only a thought. But now she couldn't see me as I was. Couldn't see me. Couldn't see me. You've been very kind to me, Mr. Martin. Oh. Music. 
everlasting music in my ears. Come here every day, won't you? It's so good having you to talk to. You've made these wonderful days, Paul. Music, everlasting music, her voice being with her, knowing her, and she knowing only that of me which had no ugliness. You've such a good mind, Paul. The best I've ever known. I needed a mind like yours. <laughs> I'm laughing, Paul, because you've made me happy again. You, Paul. And I bless you for it. Happy days, endless days, quicksilver days, then the day. Paul, I've been waiting for you. I wanted to be here sooner, but... The grain. The grain? It's a very tall and bold now, Paul. Very. <laughs> Remember how the grain used to keep us apart before I even knew you? I'd wave and the grain was between us. And I never knew you. Is knowing me important? Paul. Do you know me now? You're the only one I've wanted to be with. Do you know me now? Paul. Paul, listen to me. I know you now better than I could if my eyes were open. And twice as wise as they ever could have been. You're lovely. And so are you. I... You never... You've never seen me. Oh. When people have talked together as much as you and I. Every little hope and hurt. Dream and plan. Don't they know more than if they looked at faces? And what do you look like, Paul? I... No. Let me guess. I've sat here in the dark and seen your face so many times before me. My face? Yes. Let me tell you. It's a large, virile face. A face that matches up with all the strength of you. Uh. Strong, straight mouth. A firm chin. Skin brown. Yet soft. Straight nose. It's, it's not too small. Yet not too large. And then your eyes. Eyes? Oh, yes, your eyes. They're large and dark and gentle. Gentle is the way of you, Paul. Well, how close was I to knowing you? Give me your hand. Oh, no. No, I, I don't want to touch your face. You... Later, yes. Not now, Paul. I want you to read me something. Read? Yes. So strange we were talking about faces when I have this book for you to read to me. Look. Do you know the book, Paul? Cyrano de... Yes. Brave Cyrano de Bergerac. You've read the play, of course. I... I never have. Oh, then I envy you. I wish I'd never read it so that I could read... Hear it all over again. Please read it for me. Here, start any place. Read, Paul. Thou lovest her, tell her. For I do surmise thou art a hero in her eyes. That was Le Bray, Cyrano's friend. Now go on, read Cyrano's speech. Nay, shall I woo the loveliest maid in France? Look at me, friend, with my poor big devil of a nose. I dream even I of walking neath that beam... Loving, beloved. Oh, you read it with your heart, Paul. He was ugly. Oh, the rest of him was beauty, just his nose. Read Cyrano's lines and I'll try to remember Roxanne's. She was the woman he loved, and he never dared tell her of his love because of his ugliness. Read, Paul. The top of the page. Roxanne calls, Sister, oh, sister. Read, Paul. No. Call no one here. Ere you come back, I should have gone away. I long for harmony to end my day. 
I love you. Live. In fairy tales long since, the princess said that, and the ugly prince lost all his plainness in that sudden sun. But see, I finish as I was begun. I made your grief. I, I. You made my bliss. I lacked all woman's kindness. Even this. My mother found me ugly. And I had no sister. Lest they mock an ugly lad, I shunned all women. You became my friend. One soft gown brushed my path before the end. Paul. Paul. You cried. Cried? What is there to cry about? It's true. There's no reason to cry. It's just a play. In life, no man could be such a fool. Goodbye. Goodbye. No, Paul, don't. I... I haven't had a chance to tell you. My eyes. An operation, and I'll see you again. That's why I didn't want to see your face with my hands. I'll see you with my eyes, Paul. See you with my eyes. See you with my eyes. See you again. See you again. See what? <laughs> a face to laugh at. The ugliest man in the world. A face to jeer at. <laughs> and the mug. A face to shout at, but not to love. Not to love. Never will I, so long as I am master, let beauty so divine meet such disaster, ugliness, mark, affection, seer, no. Read you a thousand times because she read you. The author gave you a paper nose, but my ugliness is flesh and blood. Flesh and blood to see, to hate. She'll never see me, never, never. Lift the muzzle, press the trigger. Trigger cold against my finger, cold as death, but life is colder. Thoughts in my mind like a whirling circle. Oh, Press the trigger, press the trigger, press the trigger. Paul. Who is it? Paul. Huh? Paul, where's the light? You see. Oh, it's been weeks. I've been searching. Where's the light, Paul? Forget me. It's so dark. In your hand. Oh, Paul. I wasted too much time thinking. Oh, my dear. Forget me, I tell you. You knew me in the dark. Well, now it's light for you, and I'm not meant for the light. Forget me. I want to know you. In the light, your ugliness. Hmm. Yes, Paul. I've known. First, when you cried with Cyrano. Then I asked the others, and they told me. But you don't know. My face, a thing... A thing apart as my blindness was apart from me. I love you. You... Love? Love you. Yes. I love you. You don't know. But I will know. Turn on the light, Paul. I'm not afraid. Turn on the light. I love you. Live. For me. In fairy tales, long since, the princess said that and the ugly prince lost all his plainness in that sudden sun. The play is ended. The players, Raymond Edward Johnson and Ann Shepard. you